welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new video for those of you who don't know me my name is amelia and i upload book content such as reading vlogs reading wrap ups you name it and if you do enjoy that content then please give this video a thumbs up please comment down below please subscribe please follow my social medias that are linked in the description below and without further ado let's just get on with the video i'm excited anyway if you haven't gathered by the title we are here to talk about my march wrap up all the books I read in March and do my TBR for April because I am changing things up. I usually do April hopefuls and I just choose a few books that I want to read that I just feel like I want to read because I am a mood reader. However, I don't know what it's been and I think, like, I obviously, if you didn't know, I have my phone on the floor. I have this tag of my TBR board game which I'm still keeping because I put a lot of work into it however I was like I enjoy doing a tag of my TBR videos don't get me wrong however I really want to set myself a TBR to try and go off for the month rather than having hopefuls and not doing it so we're gonna try we're gonna try so I have actually got a different way of doing it I've got a prompt jar and we are gonna pick I'm gonna say six or seven I don't know, I'm between six or seven um, prompts to see, because like, I'm averaging around six a month, maybe less, but it depends on like what videos I do. But, so I'm obsessed with my nails, so I'm just going to show you them, if you can see, like, I am obsessed. Um, anyway, so this will be coming in handy when we do the TBR jar, after we do the wrap up, but we will be picking my April TBR from the prompts, and I'm quite excited. Um... I have got two books that are on the TBR that are not from the prompts because I'm doing it for my Tack on My TBR video that I am currently filming. So, yes. Shall we get on with the wrap up? We, yeah, let's do that. Um, um, so. so, in March, I read six books, and to be honest, at first, I was not thinking I was going to get to more than two because I to be fair did read some long ass books this month don't know why I chose to do that but I did and I'm very happy with those books because they are some of my favorite books that I've read this year so far but I just they are quite long so I was like I'm not going to get very far and then I filmed 24 hours of reading which is going to be out some point in April I don't know when I can't remember the date but look forward to that because at least most of these books I read this month is going to be in that video so keep an eye out for that but we're just going to talk about the six books I read in March and then we'll talk about my TBR which that's the part I'm more excited for let's go so the first book I actually read um, in March was Say You Swear by Megan Brandy this book follows a, a girl called Ariana and her brother her twin brother Mason her twin brother Mason and they, they're like their best friend Cameron who is Ariana's best friend, and then you've got Brady and Chase, who are, they're all like best friends, they go in a group, kind of go to like the summer house together, it's giving summer right turn pretty vibes, they go to the summer house all together. Ariana is in love with Chase, and you know, he doesn't know it, and then kind of gives mixed signals over at, um, at the beginning of the book. And then things happen that the, in some ways divide the friendship, but they don't, you don't really see it. But alongside this, you meet a guy called Noah, who Ariana meets, at the summer house and then they all they all end up at the same college they've gone to this college called avix college specifically to do foot, um, i think it's american football um and it's a, it's a sports romance it's cute i absolutely love this book i found it very adorable felt very connected to ariana there was not really a plot for this book it was just character development as the book went by i absolutely loved it and i'm pretty sure i gave it four stars yeah i rated this book four stars and I think four stars is a good rating. I absolutely loved it. I would I would happily read it again. Next one I read was Powerless. Everyone and their mother is reading this, I swear. This was very popular on BookTok last at the latter end of last year. And I was so scared to pick this up because I was like, I mean I still have a sticker on it, I need to get that off. Um I was so scared to pick it up because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I really feel like I'm gonna hate it. I don't know why because I do love watch. I've not read the Hunger Games books, but I watched loved Hung I loved the films so much. I loved Divergent. I loved Wolf Wing. I just was not sure I was gonna like it, but oh my god, I loved it. I thought it was really good. The beginning was a little bit slow. Like the first twenty percent, I'd say I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm liking it. And then I, that is when I switched to audiobooks. I literally switched to audiobooks on Spotify to listen to this 
before the first half because I was getting so bored and I was like, I don't think I'm going to like it. I put the audiobook on and I was like, oh my god. And I was doing book journaling whilst this is the audiobook. And I was like, I'm in my element. I'm loving this. And I ended up really getting into the book and it really helped. And then I got to the trials and was obsessed with eating up. Peyton and Kai's like banter, angst relationship loved it this follows a girl called Payton who is an ordinary who has been faking for her whole life that she's a mundane so she's got some kind of like elite power but it's not it's like more mundane power than elite so she could get by so she doesn't die and Kai is basically sent out to kill the ordinaries so they shouldn't work because she is an ordinary and then as the book goes by, she gets put into these trials because she ends up saving him and the trials go by and they you can, you, you can imagine what happens, but I really liked it. I gave it 4.25 stars. I really enjoyed the book. Like I said, I think this could be a 4.5 or 4.75 if I wasn't bored at the beginning. The next book, I actually still can't believe I'm saying I've read it. I still can't believe I said I've actually successfully read it and annotated the hell out of it. Like, can you see all those under those tabs? I read A Court of Silver Flames by, by, by Sarah J Maas. This book, iconic. I absolutely loved it. I really went in thinking I'm not going to like it. So I started this back in January, technically. Um, and I was reading it alongside other books, but obviously couldn't give it my soul, my soul attention because I was reading other books as long as I did. And I was like, no, I need to read this book when I'm just reading this book and nothing else. And I, so I started on chapter eight and oh my God, I finished this last friday like a week ago today i'm filming it filming this video but i honestly this book did take me a while to read but it's a long chunky book and i loved everything about it the character development for nesta i can't give too much away because obviously it's the fifth book in a series and i don't want to spoil the whole series by giving it away but i was like the character development for nesta was amazing absolutely loved it cassian oh my god i loved him cassian and nesta together absolutely fantastic this whole story had everything i wanted in it and i loved it didn't realize how much i was gonna love it until i read it five stars maybe five stars i honestly love it this is like i think i did it in my 24 hours of reading i said that i'm rating i've got like a tiering of all the five books and it goes court of mr fury number one number two is a court of silver flames number three a court of wings of Wind court of rings of ruin number four a court of thorns and roses number five a court of frost and starlight i didn't think this would become second place i thought it was gonna be sad but i really i really i love i loved it so much and i still can't stop thinking about it a week later so the next book i so proud of myself for actually reading in um march because i actually picked this up for my book popular booktop books and if you haven't watched that video you won't know if you've watched that video you'll know that i actually started reading it and i put it down because i just was not in the mood and i wanted to pick up a course of silver flames um i wasn't in the mood i wasn't enjoying it i was like mm, it, all it is is smart but i read icebreaker and then after the first 30 percent 30 30 40 percent it got better like the last 60 percent i thoroughly enjoyed i ate it up i think it helped i picked it up and read it for the rest of it for 24 hours of reading so i felt like because i had i just sit and read the whole thing and just sit there it helped so yeah i ended up really enjoying it i really loved nate hawkins i think he was just a really good book boyfriend like i think he had his head screwed on a bit more than most guys in sports college romances because a lot of sports college romances the guys do not have their head screwed on at first the girls bring it around but he had his head screwed on she really enjoyed it i wouldn't say loved it i can't say that i didn't really enjoy it i'm glad i got through it i am happy that i read it and i can't wait to actually pick up wildfire at some point i am looking forward to henry's book though so I am looking forward to Daydream that comes out this year. I think I'm about to pre-order it if I haven't already. Can't remember if I pre-ordered it. I've got too many things pre-ordered, it's bad. I even just pre literally asked I like, pre-ordered the next book in the Emporium um the Emporium series, the full thing series, and that doesn't even come out until January next year, guys. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. I gave this a 3.75. I think if the first I the first forty percent was better, I think it would have been in the four stars, but I didn't enjoy the first 40% that I couldn't give it anything higher than 3.75. But I really enjoyed it. Really good book. I then picked up a book I had no clue anything about. I hadn't seen anyone talk about. But I was like, I'm going to pick this up for 24 hours of reading. I want to read it. And it's Seven X's by 
Lucy Vine this book. Guys, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. Like, I couldn't stop laughing, smiling. There was things that I think weren't necessary. And there was times when I was like, oh. But I think this is a very coming of age book. I think it's very much, um, like, learning about yourself alongside learning about your exes, I guess. Um, but it's a really good story. I predicted what was going to happen at the end very early on in the book. But I think with romance, you, do, you tend to. But I really thoroughly enjoyed this book. I, in this book, you're following a girl called Esther who has is drunk one night with her friends, Bibi and... What's her girl's name? Oh my god, what's her name? Why can't I remember her friend's name? I mean, I know why, because I was um, very tired. I was really... Louise, or Lou, I think. Yeah, Lou um, and her very friend, maybe they were out drinking and they read a column about the seven exes and that you, like, that you have seven exes, you only have seven exes in your life. And she's like, and so then she's like, oh my God, I've already had all of them. She needs to then, and then like, it literally goes, the seven ones are the first love, the worst mistake, the friend with benefits, the overlap, the mischance, the bastard, and the serious one. And she so went through all of her seven exes to find who could be the the actual love of her life. And it, and it's just it was such a good story. I actually really thoroughly enjoyed it. I gave it four point two five stars. I definitely recommend this book. If you haven't heard of it, go pick, go find it, read it. It's so good. I loved it. I got this from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's of all places, the works don't have it. I bought it from Sainsbury's. It's a food shop. I mean, I know it has other things of food now, but like, I didn't expect to find a book that I thoroughly enjoyed in there that I haven't heard from about. So yeah. And then the final book for March I read was The Goal by L. Kennedy. Can you hear the bugs up noise in my voice? My nose, because I can. We read The Goal by L. Kennedy, this book. I mean, I liked it. I enjoyed it. It's not my favourite um, off-campus book, I will be honest. I think out of all of them, it's my least favourite. And I was kind of expecting that anyway. I think because I knew what was going to happen in this book because of the ending of the score and then it took a, a long time in the book to get to that section i was just like okay when are we getting to the actual like thing that i know is coming up like i feel like if they didn't spoil that any other book it would make it more interesting because then you'd be like oh my god that happened but i knew it was coming up i knew it happened i knew it was happening i just wanted that to happen at that point so i think that's what really kind of like made me not enjoy it as much because I knew what was ha going to happen and I was like, Ugh. but I did enjoy this book. This book was following Tucker and Sabrina um, who have a one night stand um, on a night out and then it's meant to be a one night stand and then he's he's too interested in her that they make it a couple time frame. Um, if you, and yeah, you're following them and then Something happens to change their lives. So Sabrina gets pregnant. Um, by Tucker's baby. By Tucker basically gets Sabrina pregnant. They have a, and they have a decision to make of what they're gonna do. And because they're both coming to the end of college, and they have like a future to think about. And you're following that story. And don't get me wrong, I really like this book. I think Tucker was just again a bit like um, who was it I said earlier. He has a screw like Nate Hawkins had his head screwed on. He literally he was a bit of an idiot at times, but he also like he stepped up. Like he stepped up and it was Sabrina who didn't see it and took a while to see it. And I think it was really good to see how they progressed. And I think it was really good for like he didn't get angry that Sabrina wasn't seeing what he was trying to prove. He was just patient with her and knew that he had to be patient with her for in order for them like in order for him to have him to like have her but i'm basically to fall in love um yeah i actually don't remember what i rated this because i did this i did read this at the end of a 24 hour reading and i was like tired of looking at words but i gave it a 3.5 star i did say if i had read it outside of the 24 hours of reading i might have rated it more might have enjoyed it more i don't know i but i was also prepared not to enjoy it as much so 
I rated it 3.5 star. I think it was pretty good considering like the other books have been higher on my rating. But I still think it was a really good rating. I really um, I still love the off campus series and I can't wait to get to the final one. So yeah. But that is all the books I read in March. We have them here. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can lift them up without dropping them. So they're all the books I read in the month of March. We are now gonna do the TBR part. Oh, the video, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. But let's talk about the two books that I'm actually gonna read because I feel like, let's just start with that. Um, so first of all, I'm already reading it. The first one is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I picked this up for one of my prompts when I tackled my TBR video, obviously. I'm not gonna give you the prompt because I don't wanna ruin that video yet. Cause it's not gonna be out at least until a couple of weeks after this, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure when that one's coming out. I'm like filmed so in advance, which is surprising. But yeah. But yeah, I'm already, I'm, only, I'm like 40% of the way through, nearly 40% of the way through Harry Potter and the Hot Goblet of Fire. And that is the first book on the TBR for April. And then the next book is the book called More Than Just Us by Ali Otoski. Um, this is her first uh, debut novel, debut novel, her first release. And I am excited to give us a read. So that is the next book that I'm going to read now let's do the tbr prompt okay so for the tbr we are only using this cart not this cart this cart unless i really have to go to this cart so we've got all these books they're all here and we've got my tbr prompt jar and i'm gonna pick because i've got two i'm gonna pick six which is actually a lot because that's eight books that i am aiming to get through in april so we will see um but we're gonna use this i have one that i'm really hoping i don't get because it means i have to wait until instagram have actually like chosen and I have to give it a few hours to then come back to you and say what my TBR is so we'll see so we're gonna go into this I bought this jar from Tesco and I love it I'm just gonna... I've already shaken about three times today so the first prompt let's have a look a book you really want to read I added this today so this is like a mood read prompt. I feel like I'm going to leave this one to choose until at the end of it because I don't want to pick one that could be picked for a prompt. So we're going to leave that. Also, I do want to preface, I'm not actually going to throw any of these prompts away after I've chosen them. They're going to go back in the jar for another time. So we might get them again next month. Who knows? Okay. Let's oh. I can't actually open this. Your most anticipated read. I don't know if you're going to read my writing on this, but your most anticipated read. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh. What can we choose? I feel like we've got Binding Thirteen is a very anticipated read. Divine Rivals. What's not going to say? Uh, there's one, but I'm not going to choose it for this one because I'm scared. I'm not prepared for it yet. I'm not mentally prepared. Mile High is another one. Um. Done and Dusted is another one. I feel like there's several on here that's the most anticipated read and like I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with Done and Dusted for most anticipated read because I feel like if I'm choosing six, I don't really want to go for something as chunky as Binding 13 just yet because as much as I really want to get to it, I feel like it's such a chunky book that I'm not really prepared for another chunky book if I'm going to be reading it. I've also got Harry Potter on it. So Done and Dusted by Lila Sage, we are picking for most anticipated read. I need to put this somewhere so I don't lose it because I will lose it. I'm just going to refold as well because I can see half of it. I'm trying to like dig deep so I don't like just get one off the top because otherwise that could be something to say basic. Oh, something with love in the title. Love in the title. I see one. Let's just have a look first. I see one. I don't know if I'm ready for it, but I think that could be the only one. Oh, God, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. We have got Love Theoretically. It's the only one on this cut that has love in the title. So we've got Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. I I do really want to read it, but I've been putting it off so much because I really didn't like Love on My Brain, so I'm a bit worried. But that's the next book in this TBR. We've got three more to pick. I still need uh, four more books to pick, but three more prompts to pick. I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm going to have to do it again. Cartoon cover. I don't know if you can see that. Cartoon cover. So, 
Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I can't go to that one yet because it's the second in the series. Is this cutting? Kind of. I'm not really feeling it on me. Is this cutting? Would you call this cartoon? Not really. I guess it's like cartoon people right now. You were going to see everyone. Oh, I am one. Would you call this a cartoon cover? That's an option. That's an option. Um, I, I don't think this is a cartoon cover, but I feel like it is. It is giving me cartoon covers. So that's an option. I'm putting it there. Um, what else could be cartoon cover? I did this. I put this properly there, not thinking much of it. Oh, I know this one is. Oh, this is falling. Oh, there's this one. Okay, we've got four choices and I don't know what I want to do. We have between As Seen on TV by Meredith Shaw, Some of Broken Rules by K.O. Author, The Situation Ship by Taylor D.O. Rumble, and Girl Abroad by L. Kennedy. Like, they're all three, like, four books that I really want to get to. I'm going to go with that one. I'm going with because it's been like one I've been wanting to do for ages. It's a scene on TV by Meredith Shaw. I think, I could I have this actually downloaded on an Audible. And I know I've listened to it, but I'm going to have to stop from the beginning because I don't remember what happens in the slightest. Um, but we've got a scene on TV by Meredith Shaw. I really love the look of this book. Um, I had, so, I only bought this because it just looks great. And I remember it's very good and it's a PR. And then I was like, I really like that. So we to pick two more prompts, two more prompts, guys. I don't want this to end. I really am enjoying the picking the prompts. I think I know what this is. Okay. Yeah, random number generator chooses what book I read, basically. So, this one actually makes me nervous. Okay, so we're gonna have to count how many books I've got on here. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 4, 2, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 35. I'm going to screen record. Hopefully I'll remember to pop it up here. Let's go. So we've got 1 to 35 on here. Let's press generate. 6! Which way did I count? 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Guys, guys, I'm not. I might have to regenerate another code because I cannot do number 6. Number 6 is Assassin Blade by Surgery Mask. Can I really put myself through the process of getting into another Surgery Mask world right now? No. Okay, next one. There's just 23. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, that's a good one. Guys, a good one. When I was already picking up, I wasn't sure. I wanted to read, but I wasn't sure about. The Situation Ship by Taylor Dior Rumble. This, again, is another Sainsbury's find that I've not heard of. And, and if you didn't know, my, one of my goals this year is to read more non-popular book top books, like books I haven't heard about. Um, so we've got The Situation Ship by Taylor Dior Rumble. I'm quite excited about that. I'm very happy with that one. Whew. Okay, and we've got one more. One more prompt to pick. Let's get right in. Ow. Ooh. Guys, this is, this is tough. A book you regret buying. A book you regret buying. Now, to be fair, this doesn't mean I think it's going to be a bad book. It just means I... I mean, it's not that I think it was, I just think I don't think I'm going to enjoy it, but maybe it's just, but it could turn out to be really good. Well, it is actually quite tough to find a book that I regret buying. Oh, I have three choices now. I just found one, and one of them is actually on that TBR, so I should probably get from it. So the one from this one is Hook, Line and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. The other one was American Roommate Experiment by Elena Albers. I picked this up when I hadn't even read Spanish Love Deception yet, and... I didn't hate the first love deception, just wasn't obsessed with it. And then I picked this one up because I really liked um, 
every summer after. Let's make me late my Carly Fortune. I think because it came off this one, we're going to stick with what I should do. And we're going to read Hook, Line and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. Um, because... I picked this up before I read it to have one summer. I enjoyed it have one summer. Do I remember anything that happened in it? No. I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't say I thoroughly loved it. So I'm going to put this on my TBR. Now we have to go back to this one. A book you really want to read. Because this is like mood reading one. This is kind of like a mood reading prompt. Oh no, there's too many, there's too many, there's too many. My brain there is actually too many to choose from, but like, can I tell you how much me parts of me really wants to pick up Magnolia Parts into the Dark? But me's like, no, I'm really not ready for that. And like right now, I don't know what video it'll be putting, and I kind of want to put it in a video if I'm gonna read that one because. Uh, but you really want to read? Oh, this is difficult. This is difficult. Have we got fantasy about Harry Potter? Because I feel like we're a bit romanced out. So, we're going to pick up Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross for the books that I really want to read because I feel like I need another fantasy book in this TBR because it's all romance otherwise. So, Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Let's go. Okay, I'm just going to sort myself out and we'll do a little bit of a rundown of what the TBR is. Okay, let's just do a recap of what the TBR for April is because we've got eight books here. Let's see. And then by the end of April, we do a wrap up, hopefully. I would have read some of these books. I'm going to be swapping my cart round so the TBR will be at the top. So we'll see how it goes. First of all, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. Then we have More Than Just Us by uh, Ali Otoski. And then we have Divine Arrivals by Rebecca Yo Rebecca Ross. This is Yaros. This is not Fourth Wing. Divine Arrivals by Rebecca Ross. Then we have Hook, Line and Sinker by Tessie Bailey. I said Tessie, didn't I? Tessa. The Situationship by Taylor Dior Rumble. As Seen on TV by Meredith Shaw. Look how cute this cover is, guys. Love Theoretically. And Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. So, they are my books from my TBR. So, we have now actually done what, what I read in March alongside my TBR. If you feel, I do want to ask, if you've got to the end of this video, please put in the comments whether you should think I should split my TBR and my wrap up up. Unless I have like maybe a couple books in my wrap up, in my wrap up more than not as that many. Because I know this, I can aware this video is probably a bit longer than usual for my wrap ups. However, I want them to come at the same time, but I don't do separate videos during the week because I don't have time. I don't have time. So, let me know if you want me to keep this or you want me to keep this in one video, like always, or split it up into more than one video. But if you did enjoy the video, then please give it a thumbs up, please comment down below, please subscribe, and please follow my social medias that are linked down below. And without further ado, without further ado, and I'll see you again next week with another video. Goodbye!